I have a picture on the wall at home. Not many baby pictures, but one. And um, that is Donna then and Donna now, just laughing. So it's a little, little, little baby, but f just full of big, big smile, big, big, just laughing. So I said, oh, that kind of, you know, it's me. Yes, I remember, I remember, it was, I, I remember it had to be happy. I remember my early days happy. The abuse began. We had to, my mother left my father and she had the five of us, five children. So in the evenings, we went by my grand uncle, my grand uncle and his wife. And it was, it actually, we ended up spent like, sometimes we'd spend a night there by my grand uncle. And he took a very, he, keen interest in me. He liked me a lot. So he had, you know, he treated me like I was special. He, he said I was special for him. And then it ended up that um, I was in sleeping in a bed in his room. Sleeping in a bed in his room. Like he would spend a weekend, I would sleep in a bed because I was his special for him. And uh, that's what happened. So it was then that the first incident happened where he, you know, molested me. I was about, I would have been about 10, 9, 10 at the time when it happened. First of all, I was most afraid that if I told my mother, I thought she would kill him. And so I didn't, I didn't, I kept a secret. I kept a secret. And um, eventually I said to him, you know, this is not okay. This is not okay. And he apologized and everything and I told, but it continued. You know what happened? Um, this is very common for, for, for people who are abused. They keep it silent. And this is actually the biggest problem with abuse. This is the biggest problem with abuse because it, no, it impacts it impacts everything about who you are and you know there's no access to having a conversation working it through with anybody because you are ashamed and you keep it quiet it absolutely defined my teenage years totally because I constantly felt ashamed I constantly felt ashamed and so I was very reserved very quiet I withdrew I withdrew as a result, because I, but I really was living in feeling a very ashamed of myself. That's what I am standing for for Jamaica. Every child must know what to do if they are touched inappropriately. Ma little girl or little boy, what do I do immediately? Because there is help. There is help. But if people don't know, they cannot help. No, it is. I rec I, because I'm free of it now. I'm free of it. Because I had, I, I had a, I had a, um, you know, all along, all along, um, you try to get people, you know, you get counseling and coaching, but I went to something called Landmark Education, the Landmark Forum, by a, a company called Landmark Education. And it was a weekend where you sit down and look at, you get to just reflect on the kind of thoughts. How do you see yourself? And for the first time, I got to see how my whole life in terms of my relationships with men, how it was driven by that belief that I was a Jezebel and that I was unworthy of having a wholesome relationship. And it was like a revelation for me. I did not realize that that way of thinking from that little girl was still existing at age 36. From 9 to 36, that way of thinking. And you see, when I get that insight into how I was thinking, I was able to let it go. And then now I had to work out, okay, who am I? Who am I really? Because that's not who I am. Who am I really? 
And that's when I latched on to, I'm a child of God, born to manifest the glory of God. That is who I am. But this is not just about, it's an okay, abuse has one impact. Then there are other things happen. Your, your, your father is not there. You know, you're abandoned, as a, your mother abandoned you. Lots of things happen to us as children. And then we have, we have, we create certain beliefs about ourselves that are limiting what is possible for ourselves. So you understand? So that is why I know I, I want to share this with everybody. Listen, we can get, if you take responsibility for your thoughts and start to really examine the thoughts and the limiting thoughts that you are putting on your life and begin to let that go, then you can create a totally different life.